some coon traps and we're going to be looking for some shed antlers and uh, look who we have. We've got the future of our great sport behind us and we have uh, one of the leaders of our great sport uh, right next to us. So uh, hop along with us and uh, we're going to have some fun. cast feeder over here that, uh, that spins out a lot of corn so uh, we're going to try to put one of these uh, dukes I think it's called the dukes dog proof coon traps here we did a we did a blog on this uh, actually we did a, uh, did a podcast on it too so we're kind of doing a little follow-up video they don't typically come in black they come in like an od green but they actually spray paint these because they will rust on you pretty good i've also put this uh, aircraft cable uh, this little carabiner thing on here so that way when we go and we actually connect in the feeder, we're not using wire because uh, the wire is obviously going to rust. So here's how we, um, here's how we set this trap. Uh, if you're manly, you can just squeeze it like this. But here's what I like to do. In your trapping bucket, you always got a good shovel with you. So I like to do this. Now, put a shovel handle in there. Just simply... Coon sticks his hand in there. I'm gonna put a marshmallow down there, and then it's gonna the coon's gonna have to pull the marshmallow out. It'll hit the trap. This thing will flip like that. I just got my face, and uh, we got ourselves a coon. So we'll uh, we'll get this set. We'll move on to the next one. All right. So we got the trap set. Uh, we've got a, uh, a nice marshmallow in there. Again, I doubt you can see it, but what'll happen is the coon will come and uh, try to get that marshmallow. They're gonna pull up on the marshmallow, it'll trip the hammer and it'll get them. So what we're gonna do to kinda to get them real excited and worked up, is we're just gonna use some dry cat food. Uh, here in the winter and when it's cold in, in, in Texas, we can use marshmallows and we can use uh, dry cat food. I'll just do it like that right there so it just covers the trigger. Uh, but when the summer comes around, we typically will go to dry corn uh, because the fire ants are so bad. second feeder here and uh, we're gonna do this one a little bit different I got more experience trapping here uh, this is again the protein feeder we got our cotton seed over there but uh, we seem to have a lot more luck hey, look at there. there's one, one to be stars we seem to have a lot more luck if we actually put the traps along this fence line this is where the coons typically come in peace bro uh, so that's where we're gonna go we're gonna set one up over there and then on the other side of this cedar tree and these, these dancing ladies here, there is a corn feeder and we are going to put another one there. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get a twofer here. Alright? So here's what we're gonna do on this particular setup. We got our, our trap is set, we got our marshmallow in there. Down the other one, okay? But for this particular one, we're gonna use a little bit of dry cat food too, but we're also gonna use some um, sardines. And these sardines are approximately from 2009, so they're probably pretty ripe. And uh, I'm trying to read their born on date, but uh, this this little fish is going to put one or two of these sardines down here. A little cat food on top of it should be down a month. So we'll see what happens with our more. Okay, we're at uh, protein station number three. 
Oh boy, this one's tricky. Alright, so we're going to show you. There's the bush yonder, right? And as you can see, we've got these little low spots right here. We've got one right there. We've got a real good one right there. And we got another one back up here. I don't know if you can see it. But this is where the deer come in. This is where all the critters come in. Uh, I've had a lot of good luck catching coons off of this one right here. You can see a trail over there. But we're going to put a trap here. And we're going to put a trap up there near the protein feeder and uh, I've caught a double here we will see what we can do so uh, wish us luck and we get done with this one we're moving to another one okay uh, feeder number four here this one uh, this one's a little bit of a trouble spot we've uh, had a lot of problems here the, for some reason they love to get on this platform so we're gonna have a little fun we're gonna set one up there, and yes, I know what you're thinking. This feeder isn't working. There's there's a good reason for it, but you can see we got a little coon print right there. Let's, uh, let's try to ruin that dude today. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set one down low. I got enough traps. We're gonna set one up high, and uh, we're gonna see if we can't ruin them. You can see. I was kind of actually glad they did paint it orange because you can see what they've done to this tube. Uh, Obviously, all the tubes in this thing. So we really need some coon hoods here, because uh, man, they're just they're just pounding it. So, oh, and here's another little tip for you. Also, we had a, a good good rain. Look at that. You can see all that chunked up protein in there, nice and wet. So we're gonna go in here and kind of scoop it out a little bit. There you go. Get it blown for the deer again. All right, we got one more feeder after this. traps at the protein feeders here at the Rancho Bandito. We've got uh, one little helper this morning. Uh, we'll see what happens. We can see one trap from the house. Unfortunately, we didn't catch anything, so we're about to go check the rest and uh, we'll see how we did. Stay tuned. Alright, folks. Well, we were, uh, sorry for the wind, we were thinking that we were going to get skunked, but uh, we definitely did not get skunked. Finally, our our patience has paid off, and uh, we have got uh, two coon. We've got a possum right over here in this trap along the fence, and we've got a uh, raccoon right here. So uh, this is great. Again, eating all the protein. Uh, you know, they're also known to scavenge turkey eggs, quail eggs. You know, uh, of course. That's just the game birds. Uh, Lord knows what they can do to the songbirds, things of that nature. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of a little business here. But uh, uh, pretty good set. we got one more feeder to check. Oh, and by the way, the other ones didn't have anything in it, which is very disappointing. But we'll, uh, we're, we're, we're having some good results here. All right, folks. Here we are at our uh, last uh, stop. We've got another coon here, which is just awesome. Uh, we got nothing up top. We'll get up there and see if they did any, uh, any action up there. But yeah, we got another one right here. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and take care of him. But uh, pretty good results. Pretty good and happy with this. Whoop. I don't know if you just heard that. There's some big turkeys back there. Gobbling. But we'll, uh, we'll reset tonight and we'll uh, see what we can do. Good afternoon, everybody. It's day two of our uh, coon trapping bonanza. We were at the feeder that we did not catch any uh, coons at yesterday, so now we are going to see if we can't reposition some of these traps and get one. So, well, we have one set here at the uh, the corn feeder here. We're going to move that one to another spot along this fence, which will be over here. What's that? Yeah, the same problem is there's no coons coming here. We uh, we had a, this game camera right over there was on that hole. We, uh, we hadn't seen any coons here in the past couple of days, so it was just really crazy. But So we're going to put it over there, see how it does. we got the other one set over there. 
and then we'll just we'll see how we do. So uh, stay tuned. All right, we're back at the uh, spot where we got the possum and the coon today. So we're gonna reset. Uh, one was at the feeder. The other one was over here. So see, I got my helpers here. Yep. So we're gonna put another one over here. Put another one right over there. And I think I'm gonna put another one right here. I might actually do a third right here. We'll uh, we'll triple triple up. See what we can do here. So we'll see. All right. We had our last feeder. We caught one here tonight or this morning. Big one too. We're gonna set it right here. We did. So we're gonna rebait this guy. We're gonna put another one over here. See what we can do. All my helpers. for tomorrow's uh, reveal show. Okay, well, unbelievable enough, morning number two, on this trap, it's always been my, my good spot, they uh, they actually ripped my entire carabiner off and took it off of my trap under the bush. I'm stunned, so I uh, may need to rethink the chain setup. 